Why are you so bloody happy today, George? It feels strange. I'm not a normal self. No, you're not. No, you're not. This is... You know, this ain't you. Right, turn left here. All right, and all right, and Why are you so happy? Oh, it's just been a bloody good day. I'm looking forward to everything. What are you stopping for? Well, I, I just want to know, like, what's going on? I'm bloody happy, right? I made a lot of money today. Oh, well, what, what with? Bloody hell, let me tell you. Let me tell you that all them bloody pigs we've been sending from Sawtross to the butchers bloody finally come in. Did it? Oh, and I made a bloody fortune. Honestly, Scroft. The best bloody plant we ever had. I'm telling you. And don't get me wrong, I've had a fair few people knocking on my house, giving some sausages. You know, I like that idea. A few people from that campsite have knocked on as well. It's been good. But the money from the butchers, bloody hell fire. It came in from that last load they picked up. Sort house has sent it over to him. Huh? We've got a little bit to pick up that's processed. Majority of it we sold. And I'm honestly over the bloody moon and gobsmacked. <laughs> there we go then. There we go. Well, if you're in such a good mood, are we alright just stopping off at mine on the way back? Well, why not, bloody hell? We're right next to it, may as well. Anything in particular? No, not really. Just want to show you what I've got set up. Oh, well, yeah, why not? I'll have a look. I'll have a look. Right, let me go speak to him. I might need help in a second, so just open the back for me. Will do. Will do. Right, two secs. Alright, pal. Nice one. Remember, if you get anything else, let me know. In a bit. Right, what are we doing here, George? Well, bloody hell, me and you somehow got to pick one of these up. Are you kidding me? You're going to put your back out. I don't want to put my back out. You'll put your bloody back out. Well, I can pick up what. Are these for your shop? What do you mean by shop? It's a shed. Well, you all just see it as it is. Well, are these for the shed you're selling things out of? Ah, oh, the furries. We're going to sell them. We've got potatoes, a bit of cabbage. Well, you've got carrots now. Well, you all can have Sunday dinner soon. <laughs> if you don't mind pork. Hey, no wrong with bloody pork. We're stuck with it now. It's all we'll be having for a while. <laughs> all you'll be having. Fine, no, I'm happy, I am. I'll eat bacon, pork chops, sausages, whatever, mate. I'll, I'll eat it all. Anyway, come on, give me an hand with this. Right, well, we're going to have to drag it out first, aren't we? Ah, oh, come on then. That's it, it's into that bad, is it? Bloody hell, George, it's pretty heavy this is. Right, on three. One, two, three. Right, come on. I'm trying. Well, yeah, why do I lift more than you? I'm older than you. I don't know, just maybe... Maybe you made a summer. Bloody hell, it's all them bloody donuts. You're just running on sugar. <laughs> bloody running on sugar. It's like you're fermenting, George. You, you're basically a fermenting human. <laughs> you're fermenting human, maybe. Maybe not. Come on. Bloody hell, it's heavy this is. I know. Tell me about it. Right, we've got some I'll throw it in back, so just drop it down here. All right, then. Oh, man, that, we shouldn't be lifting that. Hey, you be all right. Wouldn't it do you any harm? Don't be a bloody health and safety rep. We don't need one of them. As long as we look after ourselves, we'll be all right. All right, then. Right, you know, don't walk off. What are you doing? I need your help. Let's do this. Come on. Go on, turn now. I know, I know. I'll drive your bloody truck. I do it all the time. I'm your bloody driver. <laughs> Why are you so grumpy today? Bloody hell, fire. Strange feeling this is, it's like poles have moved. So what's going on? Why? Well, I'm bloody happy, you're bloody grumpy. George, you're always happy when you make money. Oh, bloody hell. Aren't we all? Yeah, <laughs> we are actually, that's true. Right, come on, let's go yours anyway. I can have a look around. I want to have a good look at that caravan. Yeah, while we're here now, you can have a good look. Ah, uh, I'll probably be staying in that tonight. <laughs> no, you will not. You said that a few times, and every time I end up bloody staying in it. No, not a chance, not tonight, George. Well, we'll see how the night goes. Bloody hell. I'm going to start charging you. Well, if you charge me, I'll take it off your wages. <laughs> Come on. 
Oh, bloody hell. Do you know what? That's a lot bigger than I expected. It's not bad, is it? No, you've done a good job there. You picked a good one. Well, it's Ross, really. Do you want to have a look inside? Well, go on then. May as well while I'm here. Oh, bloody hell are you, eh? Living the life now. Not bad at all. You got, hey, you got more space, though, haven't you? It's not bad, that isn't. And it's in good nick. It's in good nick. Yeah, nice cooker and showering, you know, essentials. Oh, well, you mean toilet? Yeah, I mean the toilet, George. Well, you just say it. Trying to sound all poshful. Essentials. The bloody hell calls it the essentials. Well, it's bloody es it's essential, isn't it? Well, it is hard, but you can also dig a bloody hole out the back and no one's going to care. <laughs> I'm digging an hole out the back. I've got a toilet. Yeah, but no, you've got any, you've got your essentials. That ain't a toilet. Sounds dead posh. Bloody hell. You live in a caravan, mate. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, hey, that's not bad, that ain't. That's much better, that is, for a bed. Tell me about it. I think that's the best thing about it. I've got an actual bed now. So just lying on that kind of sofa. Oh, no. You put me on it twice. Bloody nearly killed me. Well, if you stay over, this is where you've got to stay. Oh, buddy, I don't know about that. We can sort this out, can't we? We can find a way of making it something better than that. No. Buddy, stay there. That's where you're staying if you if you, if you you want to come round here. Oh, bloody hell. Why don't you get yourself a bloody Uber instead? The Uber? What the bloody hell is that? A special drink? No, it's no, it's like a taxi. What are you, what are you on about? You want to buy a taxi? Why would I do that when I got you? Exactly. Anyway, come have a look. All right, then. Hey, ah, you bloody shifted them, aren't you? Oh, is that what you just put them downside? Yeah, you never know. They might come in handy. Oh, that's true, that is true. So what's your plan now? The plan is, I'm going to plant grass. Ah, oh, safest bet. Are you going to expand it out? Um. A little bit, maybe, but not much. What do you mean? Well, my plan is, that's, that section now, where we're looking at... Ah? Uh -huh. Probably about level with that edge. I'll make the grass field come down here. Right? That shed I'm going to knock down. All right, then. Fair play. And then over here, I'm just going to level it out. Put some hard standing down of some sorts. You know, it doesn't matter what it is. Tarmac. Anything, really. Probably the cheapest thing. And then I've got somewhere else park some equipment. I think I'll focus on doing work like that for other people then. Oh, well, I will remember. You can only do what you can do. You've got to still focus on working for us. Bloody hell, things are going to get busy. I know that, George. And I always will. I think I've proven that by now. Oh, you have. I know. I know. I'm not saying you haven't. I'm just saying, like, you know, got to... Don't to burn yourself out. You burnt yourself out last year. And you know you did. So don't even start bloody telling me you didn't. All I'm saying is... I get you want to do something, earn a bit of extra cash, that's fine. But things are going to get busy on the farm, that's got to be your priority. I pay you bloody every month without fail. So I expect you work every month without fail. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair, and I will do. Like I said, I've proven that, that that'll be the case, but if I make this a grass field, I can do some bales off it. I'll be honest, George, if you need some bales, you can always buy them off me. Buy them off you? Bloody hell, I want to buy them off. You should give them me. I ain't giving you. This is the point. I want to make money. I'll, I'll sell them you fair price, but they're there. But if not, I'll sell them someone else. Oh, bloody hell, eh? That's how it is, is it? Yeah, that's definitely how it is. I want to make money, George. I'm not a bloody charity. Oh, bloody hell, fire. Well, I'm just saying, I'm trying to work hard. Turn this into a grass field to do some work on it. Make hay bales, or probably hay bales, to be honest, and then... I've got somewhere store them in that shed because I'll park my equipment outside and I can sell them to anyone that needs them. All right, fair play, fair play. Put it this way, George, if I offered you some hay bales and a, as an alternative to the bloody ones you just bought off off Keith... I know what you're going to say and yes, I would have bloody snapped your hand off. Exactly. Well, all right, then, fair play, it's a good idea. Come on anyway, we need that back. Plenty to do today. All right, then. Especially if you want to get back down here. Well, it's good. We've, we've done good time. I fed the cows, everything's sorted. Ah, right, but you still need to move the bloody pigs. We got to go Jerry's. You know, and then you want to come back here and plant in your, your grass. We'll be fine, mate. We'll be fine. Well, 
Just saying, you know I've got a busy night. I know, I know. Are you nervous? Am I nervous? No, not really. I don't need nothing to be nervous about. I'm just going to be me. I know, exactly. Aren't you bloody nervous about that? Are you a cheeky bloody bugger? I'll be right. How many times have we been in that pub? Yeah, I know that, but it's not normal, is it? What do you mean it's not normal? Well, it's all about you. Oh, I know, but I don't think of it like that. Well, everyone's coming to see you, George. Literally. Well, maybe they are. But at the end of the day, it's got to happen. It's what I signed up for. I'll be alright. Alright then, George. Right, I'll get back. Do you want me to move the pigs and then we'll go see Jerry? Ah, yeah, you move pigs. Let me know when you're done. And then we'll go see Jerry. Alright, buddy. Oh, that'll do that. That's plenty, isn't it? Bloody hell, George, you got it going on now, haven't you? Plenty of stuff. Oh, well, you know, you're eating it, this. Think, right, if you haven't been to shop, you could come here, get your veg, get some potatoes, you can get eggs, you can get your meat. You could literally do yourself a full meal now, because of us. Ah, that's true, George. Do you know what, from now on, I might actually start picking up something on the way home. Well, you can do. Make sure you bloody put money in. You aren't having it free. <laughs> Well, there you go, then. That was your test. What do you mean? Well, if you said I could, then I would have given you some hay bales for free. Oh, buddy, oh, well, I didn't know that, did I? Well, maybe you can, then. No, not now. You can bugger off. <laughs> You've got no hope. Not now. Well, no, no, I didn't know that. Well, buggy you, then. Do you know what? Buggy you. I'll get me own hay. Why do I bloody need you? I've got more bloody grass fields than you have, and you work in them. I'll tell you what I'll do instead. I'll make you work in them grass fields and make me hay. <laughs> Bloody hell, I thought you were happy. I am, but you've made me bloody grumpy. Cheeky bugger. But anyway, you crack on, get them bloody pigs moved. I will do, I will do now. Oh, I need set up for this bloody sausage party later. You what? What, the, what have you just said? <laughs> what did you just say? Bloody party. I'm giving out sausages, aren't I? You get what? You're giving free sausages out? Oh, I've said it's the whole point of it at the pub. All the people are coming. I'm going to give a bit of a speech about me running for parish council. Everyone that comes, I'll go and have a little general meet with them. And I told the pub to tell people they all get a free pack of sausages. I'm calling it George's Sausage Party. Mate, you can't say that. Why, well, bloody not? It's true. It's a bloody party. There's sausages, and it? There are bloody sausages. Just do me a favour and don't go around saying you're having a bloody sausage party. You're bloody weird, you are. I am not weird, mate. You're bloody weird. Honestly, just don't tell people you're having a sausage party, George. Why not? Just, just call it an election party where you're giving out sausages. Just say that. Bloody hell, are you going to fit that on a sign? Please tell me. Just please tell me. Oh, God. Please tell me you've not made a sign saying George's sausage pie. Well, not technically, but just a chalkboard. Oh, my God. Right, well, we're going to rub that off and I'll put something else. Right, I'll make it good. Well, I bloody thought that was a right. Yeah, you would, George, but just do me a favour. Stop bloody saying that. Right? you bloody off your head. What's wrong with it? I'm going to go get some work done. Are you bloody confusing me now? Don't I just walk off? No. <laughs> what is he doing? He hasn't got a bloody clue, has he? Anyway, let's open this and guard these bloody pigs through. It's going to be a job and a half. George, you could help me with this. Oh, you're all right. You'll be all right. I can see you doing that now. You can wrangle them up. Oh, God. Go on. You're not going to watch me, are you? Why not? It'd be bloody hilarious. See, you get them pigs in there. Go on, they're really small. Oh, mate. I'll get it done. I'll tell you that now. And not with your help as well. <laughs> right. Come on. Let's do these one at a time. I should just put them in a trailer, but it's only there. It's only over there. Yep. 
yep, they all look all right. Thank God for that. That was a... Uh, that was a lot of work, that was. I tell you that. I needed George's help for that. He let me down. Uh, he did. He let me down. That was not an easy job to do on your own. But anyway, we got it sorted in the end. That's the main thing. And let's go get George then and go sort Jerry's out. And I can head back to mine. Get this grass planted in. And we should be done then. And I can meet him, hopefully, at the pub. I tell him, done. Yeah, they look alright, don't they? We got the ten sows in the and the ball. They look alright. Are you ready? I'm ready, mate. Yeah, just done. Who the hell? How'd you get on? I bet that one's easy. It wasn't easy at all. I needed you out for that one. Well, you'll be right. Oh, hey, it's better though. They've got more space now, aren't they? These ones have, yeah, but there's a lot in there. How many have we got? 60. 60? Bloody hell, that's the same amount as we just got. <laughs> bloody rubbing my hands together for this. Honestly, what a bloody good idea this was. Honestly, think about it. We just sent 60. We've done it in, what, three loads? And uh, the last load was bloody massive. Honestly, it was about 30 we sent. And the money I just got from the bloody butchers for that was it, worthwhile. Did you make a good profit then with all the feed? Well, I need to sit down and look at that, but I've definitely made a profit. I just don't know how much. You should probably look into it just to see, you know, if we can improve a little bit better. Um, well, I'll tell you what, the way we did it worked out fine for me. I, I only going to try and ruin some of the broken scrap. <laughs> Eat then. Right, come on. Right, what do you want to go down in? Uh, I'll tell you what, you go get the bloody, uh, I'll tell you what, get the Massey. Massey will do that. And it's better for me, I can sit in that with you. Okay, I'll go get the Massey and then uh, I'll meet you around the front. All right then. Right, let's go pick up this then, eh? Ah, should be good, George. Oh, buddy, will, ah. Huh? How much meat have you actually got left then? What? From the pigs? Yeah. Well, obviously you've got a mixture of everything, but I've got quite a bit, I tell you that. What, frozen away? Well, uh, we've got to pick up a little bit more as well, so I'll have enough. Because well, I'm just thinking you're handing out sausages tonight, aren't you? Ah, uh, but don't worry about that. I made sure to have more sausages. Yeah, but what I'm thinking is it's about what, just under three months before them pigs have just moved over in that last fattening pen go off to sort it. Oh. So uh, have you got enough for that? Like, say, three months? Oh, ah, uh, bloody hell, ah. Uh. At the rate I'm selling them on our farm, to people that are knocking on, plenty. Absolutely plenty. I know I'm not going to get much, you know, the butchers know I'm not going to be sending them anything else till, till about three months from now, so that's all right, but... Yeah, if you're on about the stuff we've got, We'll be bloody fine. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. As long as you've got enough stored away, frozen, frozen. Yeah, I'll be fine. All right, um, it's all right, isn't it? Yeah, don't worry, mate. Don't worry. We got enough, and we got enough to hand out tonight. Well, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this trailer. Have you brought that pump? Yeah, I've got it. What if it don't work? Well, if it don't work, it's the best we can do. We're just gonna have to go really slow. We probably should have changed the tyre before we move it. Yeah, but we'll see how it is. It might not, you know, if we go dead slow, it's only up the road. And, uh, as long as we don't do any damage to, to the trailer or bloody the road as well, we'll be alright. Alright. Right, I'd pull it up in his field just at the back. Will do, will do. Give him a little beep. He might come out to us. There you go, you happy now? Well, it makes sense, doesn't it? Bloody hell, chill out, lazy eye. Why are you calling me lazy eye again? We got here and you're calling me lazy eye. Hey, you bloody love it. Come on. <laughs> right. You knocking on. Oh, no, no, you can knock on. Right then. 
He didn't even come out, did he? We really beat him. <laughs> hey, yo, you all right? I'm all right, Jerry. We come pick up the, the trailer, mate. Yeah, no worries. That's fine. Go on, give him the bloody money and the sausages. I am doing. I've just spoke. Give me, t give me chance, man. There you go, Jerry. 500 quid and a few packs of sausages. Ah, uh, no worries. Hey, Jerry. Oh. Are you coming to the sausage party at the pub later? Oh, my God. Yeah, I'll be there, mate. Don't worry about that. Have you heard of Duff's Listers? No, nothing yet, mate. I thought we would have heard by now. Yeah, me too, me too, but no, I haven't had anything, honestly. I had this weird thing come through from Slisters, but it was nothing to do with anything. Okay, no worries. Bro, are we just alright grabbing it then? Ah, oh, yeah, go ahead, mate. Uh... Alright, I'm pal. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. See you, Jerry. At least you didn't call him Batman. Oh, well, I didn't, did I? Bloody hell, I forgot about that. I'll have to make sure I'll have to call him tonight. Bloody hell. I'll do it when I'm doing my speech. <laughs> right, anyway, you sort her out. Go get hitched up to her. I'll sort the tyre out. Alright then, mate. Right, keep it going. Go on, you got a little bit more. Uh, a bit more. Well, that's good enough for me. Right, tire will last out now, buddy. You think? Uh, it'll last as I'll get back. Definitely. And we're going to have to swap her out, aren't we? Yeah, we can do that, can't we? I might get Ross come up and do it, you, you know. <laughs> and we can let him know how much we saved. Oh my god. Right then. Right, pull her out and I'll just go say bye to Jerry. No worries. Take your time. I will do, I will. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not 100% certain about that tyre, but... I'll just see, eh? Feels like it hasn't been shifted from that spot for a while. I'll make sure to give it a clean and then we'll have a good check over. Just make sure it's all right. Yeah, Jerry, it's good, mate. Good. Right, I'll see you later on at the pub. Okay, see you later. Hey, Jerry. What can I help you with? Sorry to, sorry to keep asking things off you, buddy. You know that digger you got there? Ah? Uh, is it yours? Well, it's mine, that is. Uh, can I use it for a day or two? Well, what are you thinking of doing? Well, I want to knock a building down on my on my yard. What? And I'll probably use it just to collect the rubble. Oh yeah, take it for a few days, ah, huh? no worries. Do you want any money for it? No, don't worry about that, I don't mind. It's sitting there, it's not doing anything at the moment, so I'll take it. Are you sure? I feel bad, mate. No, it's fine. Alright then. I tell you what, what, what's wrong with that international? To be perfectly honest with you, Scroft, I haven't got a bloody clue. It's been a run a long time, that ain't. I'll tell you what then, how about I have a look at it, see if, see if it's something that can be fixed, and if it is, I'll try and fix it up for you. I'll do the work and everything. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, bloody hell, I, I'll take that for an offer. If you can figure out what's wrong with it, I'll get parts for you. Yeah, nice one. I can do that, I'll have a look. Little bloody listen to him. Do you know how long he's been trying to fix something for me? I haven't had my scooter for months. I'm lost without it. He's talking rubbish. 
Ignore him, mate. He's, he's off his head. I ain't got time to fix a bloody scooter for him, but something like that I've got time for. Who, uh, who bloody hell is that how it is, then? Shut up, George. I'm trying to do something right here. Bloody hell. No, sounds like a plan. Pick it up whenever you need it. Cheers, Jerry. Nice one for that. I'll probably come down in a few weeks, then, after I've got it knocked down. Okay, see you later. Yeah, see you later on. Yeah. You're a bloody pain in the backside, you are, George. Well, bloody nothing wrong with me. It's bloody true. How long have you been trying to fix that scooter? Yeah, I give up on it. I told you the parts I need, you never got them. I told you order them. It didn't on me order the parts you want for your scooter. Bloody hell, fine. Fine, order them. Especially if you're going to fix that for him. I bloody want that scooter. Bloody do me donut run on it. <laughs> Alright then. I'll fix it. Get the parts and I'll fix it. I even told you what it was what was wrong with it. Alright then, I'll bloody do it. Chill out, lazy eye. <laughs> anyway, take your time with that trailer. I will do. I will do. You reap my weight. I told you you were a borrower. What are you on about? Well, bloody hell, you're having these bloody seeds off me. You're having that digger off bloody Jerry. I'm a bloody borrower. Told you. Well, I'd much rather be a borrower than a round bloody hobbit. Uh, you cheeky bugger. <laughs> it's bloody true. Anyway, that has come out well, hasn't it? 500 quid for that, Scroft. I know. Bargain, mate, isn't it? Told you it had a few scratches, but it's fine, that is. It's better than fine. Look at the bed on it. It's perfect. I know, I'm happy with that, George. And that tyre's lasted out. It's a bit flat, George, but it's all right, isn't it? That'll be all right. We'll get that sorted before we need to use it properly. It's all right, that is, I tell you. Right, well, I'm going to tidy up, put things away. I'm going to get that grass in the ground, and I'll meet you the pub later. All right, buddy. No worries. Don't forget bringing your sausages, yeah? Don't, don't forget out, because it's important this is for you, George. Oh, no, I've got it weighed up. Don't worry, I've got my speech. And I'll, buddy, yeah, I'll, I'll bring the sausages and I'll meet you there. I'll be there before you. Right, well, nice one. I'll see you later. All right. Hey, these grass seeds are all right for you, aren't they? Yeah, they're fine, honestly. Just jacking, that's all. I appreciate it. I really do. Well, I had these lying around, you know, saves you using a bloody big bag. These will these will do you. That'll, that'll be plenty, that will. Nice one. I really do appreciate it, honestly. Oh, well, it's all right, isn't it? You always find a way, Mr. Borrower. <laughs> hey, I might start calling the lazy-eyed borrower. Oh, my God, it's bloody perfect, that is. The lazy-eyed borrower. <laughs> Please don't. You <Yeah>, bet. <laughs> oh, God. I'm happy with that. What a purchase that was for 500 quid. Right, last bag going in. Let's hope there'll be enough seeds. Thinking about it, I will need to get a cultivator out. Just to expand this out, because if I'm not that shed down, I probably don't need anything past, like... Yeah, that hedge to put some hard standing down. So that'll all get sorted out. But yeah, we can extend the grass field out, can't we? We can have all this section here. But we're planting what we've got. It's always a good start. And we'll get cracking on this. And I can get inside, have a shower, get changed. Ready for George's party. I'm looking forward to it, I am. Nice to see how many people turn up from the town as well. It'll be interesting because I think it'll be the first time we get a true representation of, you know, how good a chance he's got. I really do hope he bloody beats that, Tim. I really do. Anyway, let's crack on. It's nice to be back in my case as well. I bloody love this thing. 
it's part of me thinks I should do the work first over that side before I start planting in, but I'm gonna get it in. I'm gonna get it in the ground. We'll leave I might leave a section down there if we just do a bit over here. I think that might be a good, yeah, a good thing to do. It's probably the best bet. It's gonna be difficult to judge it really. Anyway, let's get this planted in. Come on, girl. Come on. with that not bad at all not bad at all an important job that I've been waiting to do for a while pretty much done Got a little bit that I've left but I am planning on doing that as soon as I've kind of sorted this area out because I probably need to expand it out so I thought there's no point in me planting this bit when I want to do a bit more but I'm happy with that nice nice little task that was and what time are we on now four, four o'clock so yeah gives me plenty of time to get ready for in the pub happy as Larry I was thinking as well about that cedar that I got off George a cracking purchase that was I'm glad I got that really am I do quite a bit of work with that really hopefully I can use that mower a bit more as well this summertime get out in the fields earn a bit of cash yeah hopefully that is the plan right four four o'clock I've got like two and a half hours to get ready that's plenty of time I might get myself a bite to eat before I head in. I know George is giving out sausages, but I don't think there's anything going on with food-wise, so may as well grab myself some food. Hey -oh. Bet this is George. Hello? Hey -oh, buddy, oh, where are you? I'm just walking across now. I'm early, mate. I know, buddy, oh, there's too many people here. I think I've taken on more than I can handle. <laughs> You'll be fine. It's all right for you to say that. You haven't got buddy stand up in front of all these people and speak. Listen, George, when has it ever bothered you talking? I know, but I'm just a bit nervous. Right, listen to me. There might be a lot of people, but just be yourself. Be yourself and be honest and you'll be fine. I promise you. All right then, buddy. Are you coming in? I'm here now, honestly. I can see all the cars. I'll walk. I'm coming in now. Get us a pint. All right, then. See you in a minute. See you in a minute, mate. <laughs> oh, rather him than me. <coughs> Excuse me, everybody. Can I just have your attention? Sorry to bother you. I know you're all enjoying your pints. Right, I just wanted to quickly thank everybody that's come out. It's nice to meet you all. You definitely didn't expect this many coming out, so... Yeah, big surprise, big surprise. But I just thought I'd quickly say, I am running for parish council. My name's George. I am a farmer, real working farmer. Nothing too special about me. Just decided that things need to change and I'm going to try and do the best I can to 
make that happen. I run Court Farms down not too far away from here. So a big thank you to the guys and girls at the Old Plough for letting me do this. There is free sausages for everyone that's come. They are homegrown and home reared on the farm. So I thought you could all have a pack of them just as a thank you for turning up. Uh, my plan is to walk around and talk to every single one of you individually as groups and just tell you what I've got planned, what, what my ideas are. And all I ask is if by the end of that chat I have with you, you agree with anything I say, then you'd kindly vote for me next month as your parish councillor. So thank you again. Have a good night. Enjoy your drinks and enjoy the sausages. Bloody hell, George. There's loads of people here, isn't there? What did he tell me about it? I didn't expect this. Hey, well, yeah, I tell you, I'd be chuffed with this if I was you. you got a good turnout here. Good sign, tell you that. Oh, no, uh, Ross. Hey, how have you got on with that bloody feed mixer? All oh, right, George, you don't want now. Go on, you may as well tell me now while I've got a pint in my hand. Oh, that's a good point, that is. Well, it's going to take a bloody fair few bob fix that. Them parts aren't cheap on them. I can fix it, but it's 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 not going to be cheap for you. Oh, uh, how much would you buy it off me? What, what do you mean? I don't want it. Are you sure? What do you big feed mix that is? It, it holds a lot. How much do you think it's worth in the state it's in? Well, in the state it's in? I don't know, I never really thought about it. What about the feed mixer we've got? You selling that? Ah, well, yeah, yeah, that's what it's there for. I'm selling it, ah. Well, I know it's a bit smaller than what we've got and a bit of a downgrade, but I'd say that I'd probably be interested in it. What, what do you think about the idea of having ours? And you'd have to fix it up, but I'll take that one off you. I don't know if that's a fair deal. Is that a fair deal? I think it is. Yeah, bloody Arscroft, you'd say that, wouldn't you? You're on his side. I'm just trying to figure this out. I, that one's worth more. I'll give you that when it's running, but it's not bloody running. I've got to fix it first. The other one's a bit small. Yeah, I don't know. Let me think about it, George, and I'll get back to you. All right then, buddy, no worries. Anyway, nice one for turning up, Ross. Appreciate it. No worries, I'm bloody here for sausages, pal. Nothing else. Well, if that's the case, you best bloody vote for me. I'll vote for you, don't worry. Chill out. I'm bloody surprised we haven't heard anything. I'm telling you that now. Oh, me too, Jerry, me too. Me too. Well, like I said, all I had with this bloody email it just said he said something like read this and then there was nothing bloody read what are you on about george well i don't know but he just had this thing it was like a message but an email or something i don't know i don't know work with emails well i, I, I prefer bloody s send me a letter through the bloody post keep the bloody postman in work <laughs> <laughs> let me have a look at it what's he say scroff He's an idiot, that's what it is. He's, he's a bloody idiot. Hey, you don't want to say that. Well, you are. It says, please see attached PDF. Have you even opened this? PD what? PDF. It's a file that's attached to it. Wait, you have... A, what the bloody hell are you on about? Let me have a look. Let me have a look. What's a PDF? Where is it? Just give it here and I'll read it for you. Bloody hell, fire. You've had this thing the whole time. You don't even know what it says. Are you telling me there's something there? Yes, George, yes. Right, so let me read this. Bloody hell, fire. Go on, buddy, tell us. Hey, is it good news? I think you'll be happy with this. Why would you look outside yourself when you all of the world inside Why would you look outside yourself when you live all of the world inside Why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world inside Why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world inside You know you can feel it when you look No 
Why 